Dr. Jess here from Premier Physical Therapy, and welcome back to our series for our Breast Cancer Awareness Month. What I'm going to talk about today is shoulder pain. As you saw in the email content, this is something that is quite common to experience even five years after breast cancer treatment. 43% of individuals that did not have physical therapy or conservative management after breast cancer continue to have limited range of motion after breast cancer related treatment. That's in comparison to 9% in individuals that did have physical therapy. So why is this so common and why is this, uh, what can you do about this? Well, first the you can do is arm yourself with information. Why would the shoulder not move normally after breast cancer? Understand that and then it'll help you to understand why treatment is important. In order for your arm to move normally, so like this, and to move overhead, you need to have normal mobility in the shoulder joint itself. You need to have normal muscular mobility. You need to have normal myofascial or scar mobility. You need to have a good upright posture. It can't be a slouched or tight posture. And you need to have normal mobility in the spine and the ribs as well. So there's a lot of things that have to be normal and acting normally and functioning normally in order for you to have normal range of motion. Well, after surgery especially, you can have an impact in scar tissue, you can have an impact in the muscles surrounding the shoulder itself. You may have been in chemo for a while and have been in a chair and seated for a long duration and have now tightness in the pecs, which can also contribute to the what we call the forward rounded posture. All of this can be negative for <laughs> returning to normal motion. If I turn sideways and I raise my arm overhead, I have normal mobility. If I slouch and I have tightness in my pecs and I can't really get out of this because I'm stiff and I try and raise my arm, that's as high as it goes. So being able to open up the shoulder, get the back moving better, calm down the muscles, treat the scar tissue and normalize it, then I can start to move that shoulder normally again. So there's a lot of moving pieces when it comes to the shoulder itself, which is why it does not always come back with simple exercises alone. So to recap, we need normal mobility in the shoulder capsule, the shoulder joint itself. We need all of these muscles to function normally. The pecs, the subscap, the serratus, the lats, all of these muscles that could have been affected by the surgery. And we need to have normalized scar mobility. If each of these are functioning normally, then your physical therapist will discharge you. If they're not, the physical therapist would do a full evaluation and determine where you might have impairment and do a treatment plan that is going to um, make sure it's addressing each of the concerns separately so that you get back to what you want to get back to. If you have any other questions, concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. My information is listed below in the email. Thank you.